Hey everyone, how you guys doing? Welcome to this week's analysis. I'm not actually gonna do a moment Monday on this one. Uh, I'm actually gonna take a look back on a video I posted last week on the trampoline with uh, Joe and Jason. And I want to talk about this one because it's the whole idea of adding a narrative to acrobatics. And the biggest trick you're gonna see in this is a backflip on the trampoline. But the idea that I was trying to stress was, as I said, the narrative. It's the, the beginning, the conflict, and the resolution. Those are the big ones. And the reason why I feel like I think it'll benefit the acrobatic world if we implemented this more is due to the general nature of acrobatics. Because I think there's an inherent conflict already in the things we're trying to accomplish in terms of the large tricks. However, I think as people or as audience members, which has always been my fascination as the audience and acrobatic relation, uh, as audience members, we don't really have any relation to the idea of just executing something perfectly flawlessly on one shot. Like when we take a look at most acrobatic acts um, or shows for that matter, like Trad Circus is, is a perfect example of how every act is pretty much just a final product. If I were to give it an analogy, I would say, imagine walking into a movie theater and all you see, instead of seeing a movie that has a beginning, middle, and end, you see just a montage of happy endings from various movies, two hours of that. All right, so I'm gonna interrupt because you're probably thinking like, what does the trampoline video in Black Holes happen to do with circus and storytelling? Because you probably didn't have like a huge attachment that I'm talking about there, which is fair. I know it was perfectly and specifically designed to be just the fundamentals in terms of like the specific breakdowns. So I kind of kept it layered with, um, not layered, but I kind of kept it flat with not extra layers. So there's no, uh, heavy emotion tied to it in terms of the storyline. So, without further ado, back to the breakdown. Um, yeah, thanks for bearing with me on this, by the way. But I, that's why I want to stress narratives is the point to all this. So, looking at that particular thing, the narrative in this one, we're going to keep it very simple, is uh, to have a, a, a narrative, the baseline foundation for one is a setup, a conflict, and a resolution. So, if we take a look at the trampoline video, the setup I think is pretty clear that Jason is looking at uh, a black hole website or video, whatever it is, he's on his phone. It goes a little fast, that's the one thing I wish I hovered on a little bit longer. But he's looking at it, doesn't really believe in black holes, you can tell by the face of his reaction, he's kind of nah. And then he walks over trampoline, bounces on trampoline, does a backflip, and then when he is about to uh, land on the trampoline, goes through and comes up the top, and he's stuck in a loop right off the bat. So the theory is he's in a black hole now and there's no way around of it. Around it. You'll see Joe come up later, looks at, um, at Jason's conflict and sees that he's stuck in this loop. So what does Joe do? He throws out the mat and it stops his loop immediately. So the conflict is stuck in the loop and the resolution, Joe stops it. Just keeping it nice and simple there. I'd like to make more videos. I like to see more videos of people trying to see how can you build a sort of conflict resolution, or I mean a setup conflict resolution sort of format with your acrobatics relationship struggles that goes with the acrobatics. Because I think a lot of times that contrast or sometimes the support between the two is actually very, it's very interesting to watch. And I think that sort of drama is what uh, really brings audiences in. And that's sort of, I think, what you want to do with your audiences is give them a journey, give them like a purpose, something to root for more than anything. I think that was the analysis for this week. I will see you guys next week. I'm feeling like feeling a little vloggy. I want to like vlog a little bit, apparently move. I'm moving a little bit more now. So uh, I'm thinking of doing some tutorials. So we might even do some tutorials later. All right, cool. Catch you guys later.